streets of Chicago can be the toughest place to grow up if you do grow up. Surviving the gangs, drugs, and guns is hard enough when you come from a stable home and go to a safe school. But in this neighborhood, those are few and far between. So how do you make a difference in the lives of kids? How do you have an impact? More tax dollars? Another social program? Well, one man on the west side of Chicago proposed a radical and progressive solution, baseball. The Near West Little League was born in 1994, drawing kids from the projects and surrounding areas. Every May, this field becomes the greenest place in the inner city and the holy place in the kingdom where God shines. Let's pray that uh, everybody will be good sports and uh, we'll, we'll really think about you when we're playing today. All this in your name, amen. 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 All right, shake hands, guys. Let's play ball. This is not some church league or a parks and recreation program. This is a dream that was birthed out of the passion and vision of one committed Christian, Bob Musikowski. It's, this has become a real center for the area. And I think what has to happen, you'll, we're always hearing about drugs and gangs and unwanted pregnancies, et cetera, and so people have stopped doing the little things. Uh, the program has grown. We're the biggest inner city little league in the country. Uh, so it's much more holistic. Baseball's just the carrot um, to attract kids. You need to do five little things to have a neighbor. You need Boy Scouts. You need Little League. You need uh, Bible study. You need the churches being active. And instead, everyone's thrown their hands up and gotten stun gun and thinking, this problem is too large for us. Let's go play 18 holes and write somebody a check and not get personally involved. Several days a week, Bob exchanges his ball cap for a suit and tie and takes his place amid the hard-charging professionals on South Wacker Drive as a benefit planner and one of the top Northwestern mutual agents in the country. A lot of my clients are to board a trade on uh, a seventh floor of New York City Merrill Lynch bond trading floor. 6 a.m., the energy there, just to make more and more money for themselves. If you're reading the book of Isaiah, it doesn't seem like there was anything different going on at that time. Isaiah says, you look to me as if you were a nation that does what is right. He could be talking to us in the USA tonight. Is this not the fast I have chosen to loose the chains of injustice, to break the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free, to spend yourselves on behalf of the hungry, not come to a black tie affair for the homeless and throw a thousand dollars on the plate. Spend yourselves. It's got to cost you. For Bob and Tina Musikowski, becoming personally involved meant a big move, literally, straight into the heart of the inner city. They felt they could not reach the community without becoming a part of it. Bob is an incredible guy, a man with a lot of energy, um, he is a man of conviction, and he's a doer. Oh, I, Bob uh, represents uh, the best of family life and the best of... Uh, is a leader for young people of our city. And so is it inconvenient or you're late for work sometimes? When the Good Samaritan picked the man up and put him on his horse and took him to a hotel and asked him to clean up and spend some money, he was late for his next appointment and he might have lost the business. You know, that's the, that's what it's all about. He might have lost the business and he could have said, I'm not called to help the guy beaten up on the side of the road. I'm called to be a Christian businessman or Samaritan businessman.